This is Halloween, a 31-part series during the month of October. Tune in each day for a new part. If you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed to this channel to stay up to date on the latest parts of your favorite stories. A special thank you goes out to Miraculous Melody 13 on DeviantArt for drawing both Cat Noir and Marinette for the thumbnail image. Also known as Love Flower Crown on YouTube, you can find a link to both her DeviantArt and YouTube channel in the description box below. Sorry I didn't catch you yesterday. Marinette looked up in surprise to see Adrian Agrest sitting down next to her. I'm the one who should be apologizing, she exclaimed. For the kitchen? She turned pink and nodded, too embarrassed to apologize further. I hope your father wasn't too upset. He never found out. Don't worry. Besides, he's had his fair share of flower fights in the kitchen. Your dad? Marinette blinked in surprise. Gabriel aggressed? He's not as uptight as he seems. Or he didn't used to be, at the very least. What happened, anyway? It doesn't seem like you. Because I don't let loose in front of you, she thought. As much as I like him, Cat Noir is a rascal. You like him? Adrian leaned in closer, and she had to restrain herself from recoiling in surprise. Not like that, Marinette said, desperately hoping he didn't get the wrong impression. Denial is a common stage. No. Sure, he's kind to not only me, but everyone he meets, and he puts in overtime with his mask. He grins differently when he's proud of himself than when he finds something funny, and he gets this smug look whenever Ladybug entrusts him with something. Uh-huh. That, and Cat Noir always checks up on the victims a few days after, just to make sure they're okay. Adrian lifted his head in surprise. You know about that? He asked. Yeah. How? The news hasn't put it together yet. I heard it from Ladybug. Oh. Yeah. You're friends with her? Something like that. So, superheroes in your bedroom is no big deal for you then, huh? It's nice to learn about them as a person, that's for sure. Meaning? Like yesterday. When we were eating, Cat Noir lit up when he talked about his interests. The kid's super into Japanimation, to the point that he picked up sword fighting. He didn't tell me what kind he studies, but it helps to explain some of the Akuma fights. So, you don't think he's a nerd, despite his interests? Oh, he's a total dork, but it's endearing. Cat Noir is that nerd friend that you want to protect at all costs. You're starting to sound like you have a crush on him, Marinette. What? No! Her response was a little too quick to not raise suspicion, but she didn't want her temporary relationship with Cat Noir to intervene in the potential relationship with Adrian. Methinks you doth protest too much. He's not the guy I like? Oh? I like... She cut herself off, eyes widening in surprise, and grabbed her bag. To say she was flustered would be too kind, but Adrian thought it was simply embarrassment. Marinette's heart beat faster than a drum as she walked away, terrified over what just happened. Not only had she almost told Adrian she liked him, she realized that might not be the case anymore. When she went to say, I like you, to him, Cat Noir's face popped up in her mind, and her heart wouldn't let her forget it.